Hey, so only 12% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you happen to enjoy what you see here, then please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Also, thank you so much to Apex Gaming for sponsoring and supporting my channel. If you need a gaming PC for Rust and you want to support my channel, then please go to the link in my description and use code IOK at checkout for 5% off your purchase. Again, thank you to Apex Gaming for continuing to support my channel. Okay, I don't think you're ready for this one. Hands down, my best solo bike ever. Ending with me as a solo player trying to online raid the biggest clan on the server. Okay. We're back. I joined the server a day after wipe, which meant I had a lot of catching up to do. Which was pretty easy since my start just came to me. That was a good start. <laughs> Easy start. After Heli gifted me this great start, I headed over to our nice. post where I traded in stone for wood. Then it was time to choose a base location. Now, I wanted a successful wipe, and in order for that to happen, building locations are very important. Where you build can make or break your wipe. So in order to have a good chance for a successful wipe, I decided to build on the edge of the map. It was very isolated and it didn't really have anything close by on land. But what it did have was an underwater lab and both of the oil rigs, right off the coast of it. And so this area is what I would call home for the next few days. I found a nice spot and put down my base. Then I went out on my first roam around the area, when I noticed a big problem with my building spot. Uh oh. Yeah, that's gonna be- <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. Yikes. Meet my neighbors, a big group that's going to be the main focus of this video. And at the moment the biggest threat to ending my wipe right here before it even begins. I still live in a wooden base, so first up I had to fix that. Let's get some stone. Okay, nice. Then I wanted to get a level 2 workbench. Okay, I'm gonna go on a tunnels run. I do want to take Bradley. It's gonna be very hard because there's so many big groups, but it's worth a try. Like, I think I have... Like, I have high velocity rockets, so... I took the train system all the way from launch height to outpost. At outpost I recycled what I didn't need. Then I made a scary trip from outpost all the way back to my base. Hey, we're not raided. It was quite a long- I was, I was away for quite a long time so I, I actually thought I was gonna get raided. Then I went out to check around my area again, since I didn't know much about it at this point. Now about those guys. There's a base down there, too. doesn't look that, look that big though. Might try and jump into that compound later. First I wanna check out this. Do have a wind turbine on that small base? Oh god. <laughs> small base. Meet my other neighbors. Yes, another big group. I managed to build next to not one, but two of the biggest bases on the server. This was going to be an interesting wipe for sure. It looked so small. 
I can only see the first base. <laughs> There's that fucking massive thing behind it. Oh shit. Fuck him off. Holy damn. Have they fucking nerfed the compound bow? Fuck! As you could see, it wasn't going too well for me at first, but then I got a gift from the Rust Gods. No way. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. That's how we get our gun. <laughs> I don't know why, but recently I've, I've just found those airdrops. I'm gonna go home and cop some ammo for this. Then I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna form all these notes. There's so many notes here. But no one lives here because there's nothing here, so... I was still in a bit of a predicament though. You see, living this close to big groups doesn't make it any harder to progress. It's just, if your base is shit, as you start progressing and make plays, they will see that and immediately raid you. So, first things first, I wanted to get up a strong base before I continued with my wipe. Yeah, there's so much farm here. We're gonna be able to do so much out here. I'm just gonna spend the next few hours just farming and getting up the base like I don't want to get raided. I spent the next hour or so just farming and building on the base. When I'd finished most of the base, I could start playing Rust again. Okay, let's try Labs run. We don't have the cards, but fuck it. What are you shooting at? Are you having like a roof camp battle? With the other group? <laughs> Down into the labs we go. I know what labs is just one of my favorite things to do right now. <laughs> I don't know why I crafted a python. I could have just do, done this with a crossbow. Yep, it's broken. Okay, I'm gonna go and recycle all of this. I took all of the components and crude oil I had gotten from labs and recycled them at outpost. Then I made a super scary run back from outpost to my base. Like, I am not kidding you. Every time I did this run from outpost back to my base, I shit myself. A base next to launch site was getting raided by one of the groups next to me. So I headed over there to see what I could do. Oh, someone's getting pummeled. Wanna go and check that out? I have external TC stone.
Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, fuck that. We're not we're we're waiting. But as soon as they start running, I'm fucking I'm going in there. And so I waited. What are they even doing? They're building a raid base? No, they weren't building a raid base. But they did build a whole ass compound and transferred all the loot there. This would make getting any loot from this much harder. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I quickly geared back up and ran back. Then most of the group started leaving Anna Scrappily. This was my chance. It was now or never. I'm gonna let some of them leave. I don't think everyone is leaving. Are they? No. Okay. Perfect. Are you, Are you fucking serious? Like that? Yep. I lost the perfect play to lag. Now after this there was nothing I could do. And they all left and I just grabbed whatever was left in the raided base. Guess we got something. <laughs> I'm still so mad that my game actually froze like that. Literally the worst timing. Diesel fuel fucking... They need to do something with diesel fuel. Like, it's... Uh, nobody uses it. Nobody uses it. You need to be able to trade it for something. Like scrap or into low grid or something. Because it's just bad right now. Okay, so it wasn't those guys raiding because they're still on the roof, roof camping. So it wasn't them. Yeah, these guys don't seem like the online raiding type of players. I don't think I've seen them out of their base yet. Like, they've, they've just been on the roof. Like I've heard that L9 now for the last like 15 minutes. They hadn't left any loot behind, but I did pick up all of the boxes and stuff. Now, up to this point, my wipe had been nothing special. Just a normal solo wipe with some ups and a lot of downs. But after all of this, our wipe started taking a turn for the better. So much safer now. Let's see what's up in launch site. Oh, 
Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Please. Oh, we're safe. Oh. After a few wins, I went AFK to grab something to eat. And that's when my closest neighbors took this opportunity and they raided my furnace base. Now, I didn't really have anything in it except 3000 metal frags, but still, it was very annoying. Wait, what? Why? Really? Oh, they used so many explosives for this base, it's one door! They wasted so much on the furnace base, and all it was was 3k metal frag, so like, I don't really care. But I need, I need it back, because it made external TC, I don't want them to have it. I needed it back, so I created a tier 3 workbench and crafted some explosive ammo. Holy fucking beam. It was my neighbors again. I started to realize just how annoying these guys would be. So I headed over to their base to see if I could annoy them.
Like, they don't leave their base. So, I, like, I don't know how to fuck with these guys. Because I can't kill them here. Like, they have roof access, it's open ground all the way to my base. So, like, I can't really do anything. There wasn't much I could do. I, I think I'm gonna try and raid their farm base. Those, those things can usually be loaded, so... It could also be a fun uh, online raid. Because I'm not online raiding their bases. No way. But the farm base... It could be quite fun. So I got to work in order to make this raid happen. First things first, I needed explosives. And well, while I was AFK in base, my pager went off. Telling me that someone was taking large oil rig. Ooh, let's go. So I grabbed the scuba set and headed over there to counter. Let's go! <laughs> That's so good. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Now we go. Then I did an oil rig run of my own. Oh my god. What the fuck? With the C4 I had gotten from that oil rig counter, I wanted to raid the clan's farm base. But I would need one more in order to do that. I wanted to take 3 C4 and craft one. But I would need more scrap for that. Oh! If I recycle this, I will definitely have enough scrap to take 3C4. <laughs> so many people everywhere. How many people do I have to kill? I'm just trying to get home. The plan to raid my neighbors kind of went out the window here. And instead I went over to fuck with this new group. I don't like the way I lost this fight. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get something back.
Almost shocked that. If he had a better gun, I would be fucked. Go back one of the MP5s. And a full kit. It's pretty good. Those guys are like the perfect number to fuck with. They're like four, I think. And that's like basically the perfect number to fuck with. I went back again to see if I could go deep. After this, they just stopped opening the doors, so I couldn't get any deeper into their base. I did, however, get a lot of guns from this. Okay, I got back my guns that I lost. I'll leave them alone now. They can do their thing. Back to the task at hand, which was to raid my neighbor's farm base. I headed over to water treatment to do the puzzle in order to get enough scrap to take 3C4. But on my way over there, I realized that a Shinnok crate had dropped there. Oh, a Shinnok dropped, so... Let's do that, I guess. Wow, <laughs> he actually waited there. Uh, it was a shit drop anyway. I got profit, I don't care. Before going back to base, I quickly did the water treatment puzzle. Okay, I have 500 scrap now. Now we can have some fun. Okay, I have a plan now. Okay, and boom. Okay. Oh yeah, they're, they're inside.
Oh, I didn't even try to protect <laughs> protect the hemp. They just let me take it. Didn't even try to stop me or anything. I wish I got more cloth, but I can make some pure ore tea now, so that's fine. Was it worth 2c4? Not really. It would have been worth it if they tried to defend. Would have been like a bit of fun. But uh, he just didn't try to do anything. After this, I was in a raiding mood. I remembered a base I had seen when doing one of my outpost runs, so I headed over there to scout the base. I saw this base when running from outpost last time. It looked pretty interesting. Propped up two C4s. Just hit it. Yeah, definitely. Seems like a very good raid. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab two C4s and raid that. Let's do the raid. Where's my semi? Here's the semi. Okay. Let's go. Definitely running this home. I need low grade so badly. Bro, that base is gonna be loaded. I need to finish that. Oh my, this was a very profitable raid. Oh my god. Okay, we can do some more raiding now. It's actually raiding, which isn't the best thing, but we'll have to do. And to end off this day, I decided to take Bradley. Oh, double C4, nice. Oh, 
fuck that. I don't need to fight that. After this, I logged off and I prayed to the Rust gods that I would not get offline raided. And I didn't. But the clan close to me did though. Or allegedly, I should say, they raged quit and Foundation wiped their own base. But that doesn't really matter because their base is gone. Which makes my life on the server so much easier. Because instead of having two clans to worry about, I could now focus my attention on this one clan. And then Heli came out and he was the one who helped me get a start in the beginning of this wipe. So I decided to see what else he had to give. So many Yes! Yes! Everything is here! Oh! Fuck this, I'm going home. Crates were kinda ass though. What the fuck, bro? I saw a base next to me that had a very poorly made compound with some active lodge furnaces inside. So I crafted some ladders and headed over there. Huh, it's not even building blocked. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> these guys. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave these guys alone. This is bullying.
The people who I had tried to go deep on yesterday took down Heli. I headed back to their base one more time to see if I could go deep this time. Get fucked. Then I headed over to my neighbor's compound to make sure they hadn't forgotten about me. This was the most I could get from them at the moment without taking out turrets. So instead I decided to do another small raid. Oh my god, this was so worth it. Pretty sure I heard someone outside. I'm gonna go out with a shit kit and check. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, I was right. I, I did hear, hear someone outside. Our luck with raids this wipe has been so good. Like our worst raid was on the on the clan. When we 2 c for their farm base. And like that was still pretty good. As I was transferring loot, I started hearing another raid in the distance. What the? Bruh, this guy just knows. Bro, these guys know exactly where I, where I am at all times. It was my neighbors raiding this DK base. I had to get a win against them, so I grabbed a pump shotgun and headed back.
This was a major win against the clan. But I had no time to celebrate it because right after this, all hell broke loose outside of my base. Holy shit, they just keep coming. Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's like fucking 50 of them. Then the worst thing that could happen, happened. Somehow people figured out it was me living here. Are you kidding me? Why? How do they... How? And I started to get door camped. I'm just gonna get door camp now. Okay, actually, this 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 were the people I door camped earlier, so I mean, fair enough. I mean, I was one person and they were four, and uh, I successfully door camped them for guns, but they failed as four people to door camp a solo player, so I guess GG.
GG. And as things started to slow down and the service started to die down, I had a raid in the distance. Ooh, let's go. Oh, and they're fucking loaded. Oh, yes. We need low grid, so this crude oil is. Big. Then 20 minutes later, I heard another raid really close by. Oh? Oh, it's right here. No, I needed to kill one. Oh, I'm dead. Hello? Die here. Oh my god. Where's that guy? Where's the rocket launcher? Hey? <laughs> They're so bad.
No way. He actually killed himself with that rocket. <laughs> I knew there was someone with a rocket launcher. I waited for the people outside to leave and then I grabbed an inventory of the best loot and headed back to base. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is going so good. This wipe is honestly fucking nuts. Now you know how earlier I told you how I couldn't reach any more loot at my neighbor's base without getting rid of turrets? Well, I crafted up some high velocity rockets and headed over there to see if I could reach some better loot. Also, I just really wanted to piss them off to the point where they came and raided me. Okay. We got some loot, let's get the fuck out! Oh no, they're home, <laughs> fuck. Well, oh, I'm trying to, I just want to make them mad enough to where they try to raid me. And at first it looked like it had worked. We started talking in chat. Then he asked me if I wanted an online raid or an offline raid for the video. You see, if you missed it, at this point the whole fucking server knew who I was. But anyway, I told him I wanted an online raid and it looked like an online raid was on its way. We even started shit talking one another in chat. So I patiently waited for the raid to come. But minutes turned into an hour, which turned into two hours. And then, at some point, I was like, this son of a bitch backed out. And then I thought to myself, well, if they aren't gonna raid me, I was gonna raid them. But how would I do that, a normal person might ask? Well, you see, I have something some people like to call determination. And that means if I get my mind on something, I don't stop until it's completed. Now just how much did I want this? Well, enough to stay up for the next 24 hours and form my ass off. And after these 24 hours, I had almost a box of rockets. And if you know anything about Rust, you know that that's hard to complete as a group. And to do this as a solo, it's close to impossible. And it's lucky I did because they never came to raid me. This guy was all talk. But even with all of these rockets, I knew that a successful raid was a long shot. You see, as a solo player or a small group, if you want to online raid a base like this, going top down is your best option. 
but they had so many turrets on the roof, it just wouldn't be possible for me to do that. So instead, I would have to pummel it from the side.
I'm gonna run out of meds. They didn't have these turrets, oh my god, this would have been so much easier. I got one shot? How?
Why are you trying to seal? I'm giving you a fucking online raid. Just have some fun and let it play out. Please. More meds. Where the fuck's the rocket launcher? Can't find the rocket launcher. Where is it? Still trying to seal. Really? I can't find the rocket launcher, that's so... It's so AIDS.
Ah, uh, uh, if I could just find the fucking rocket launcher and it wouldn't fucking... Probably went through the ground with my luck. I mean, I used most of the rockets I had. The raid was over. But honestly, this is the most fun thing I have ever done in Rust. And wait, the video isn't finished yet. I started talking to them in chat and, you know, we said GG and stuff like that. But then I said that I was getting off for the wipe and they said that they were also getting off for the wipe. So to end off both of our wipes, two of their group took some rockets and came over to give me an online raid. <laughs> Scuff fucking compound. Just like that. Oh, please. <laughs> Was defended. After this, we talked for like 40 minutes, and they were honestly really chill and cool. So please don't give these guys any hate. Except Maze, because he lied to me. Nah, I'm just kidding. This video would not be possible if it wasn't for this group. So, to this group, thank you all for giving me a great one. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my PC at Apex Gaming and don't forget to subscribe and join my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.